My name is Avery and this is my story. When I was 18, I just graduated high school and I was gonna go to school to be a teacher because I loved working with kids. But then I found out in the summertime that I was pregnant with my son. My heart shattered because I had dreams to do a lot of things. Um, I wasn't married. I thought I was gonna be a disappointment to my family. And then I was heavily in the church and youth ministry. It was embarrassing. I was ashamed. continue to um, be in a relationship with my son's father almost a year later, not even a year later, um, I got pregnant again with my daughter. And then I thought as a young girl, like, okay, well maybe this will work. We can have a family, we'll get it together, but it didn't work. It started off with just us fighting or him just telling me negative things. I felt like I was being provoked or he felt like I was provoking him. So then he reacted and, and responded in a way where it got physical. And then it got to a point where I was hiding certain things or I was lying and saying certain bruises on my neck were hickeys just to play it off. And I was hiding it from my mom, or whatever the case may be. And then I started using my kids as an excuse. Well, I'm, I'm trying to stay with him because of my kids. My kids need a dad. I always wanted that family, that family picture. That was my stage of denial. I guess I put that so far gone that I tolerated a lot. That's when my self-esteem started to come through. I felt more of a disappointment to my parents because here it is, I was pregnant again and I still wasn't married. So then I started to lean more on my kid's father. And the more and more I leaned on him, the more and more I lost myself, the more and more I lost my relationship with God and just a lot of people in the church. It got to a point where rejection started to take place. A lot of things just started spiraling down. This is not who I want to be. This is not who God destined me to be and it put me in a, in a place where God I need you and a lot of people may say well it took you three kids to figure it out yeah so what is it that I can do to show people and to show the world that I do have a purpose and I do have a plan and it's not just to make babies out of wedlock The way God is so good, I literally jumped out on faith. I was working in the government daycare, love working with children. So I took a leap of faith and I quit my job, my full-time job. But I said, God, I trust you. And whatever path you want me to go on, this is what I'll do. I know where I wanna go and I know where I see myself, but how can I get there, God? God literally, I, as I was looking for schools online, he brought up, one school that I'm attending now. I'm about to finish in April, and I'm just so excited because I'm gonna be working in, in the medical field and being a nurse and just delivering, help women deliver all these little babies. <laughs> I had a lot of lo um, loans and debts that were paid off by the grace of God. I'm telling you, when you're patient and really wait on God, things start happening, he start working. God told me that your baby is not a mistake. And he said, your baby's not a mistake because the devil can't give life. I'm the giver of life. And though you did it out of sin, I'm still gonna bring greatness to your life. And being a young mom doesn't necessarily mean everything is gonna be bad and everything is gonna be hard. It just means that we get to grow together. I have little cheerleaders cheer me along the way. I have something to live for. And one thing I, I learned, when you do things out of the will of God, you do suffer certain consequences, but in the end, you'll always be a winner.